Hey up everybody, I want it next instalment of my sweet pea build that I'm doing. I think in the last part I've, I was concentrating on this valve train mechanism from the way shaft through the vibrating lever to the return crank. Well on this part, there's still a bit more to do on this yet, I've got to make a valve rod that goes from this uh, pivot point up to the actual valves. But in this part I'm going to make the connecting rod that fits on here. So they're pretty much the same as the uh, coupling rods, except the connecting rods have just got one set of brasses on and then a connecting eye or lug or whatever you want to call it at the other end with a phosphor bronze bush and that end goes into the actual cross head that slides on here so when the wheels are drive wheels are turning the connecting rods gonna push the piston in and out on this crank So I've got to get some material cut up, uh, I don't know what I've got to, I've got to find it yet but I'll go and have a look through my uh, off cuts probably and see what I've got to make these and we'll reconvene over on the bench. Where are you? Oh you're here. Okay then, uh, so what I've, what I've been doing then, I've had a rummage round my off cut drawers and I found these pieces of mild steel, the only rough bits of plate. So what I've done, I've cut two of these off for this end, four of these off for this end. So there here, that's the two out of that bar, all machined up. And that's the four out of that piece of bar, all machined up. Um, if you don't want to go to all that trouble, you know, you'd have to buy some bright mild steel bar or plate that's the correct thicknesses and sizes if you want if if you want to go down that route. But you know, for the sake of a couple of hours I've just done it that I've just done it the long handed way if you like. Um I've got this three eighth bar cut to more or less to length but not quite because I've got to turn a couple of spigots on each end one on each end that fits into the plates so what's happening here then the, the actual coupling rods have got two sets of brasses on each end so they're identical on each end the connecting rods they've got one set of brasses on well they're actually bronze but they call them brasses in this right up anyway but on the other end that fits to the cross head it's got to have a, a bronze bush in that mild steel end which is here so that's the mild steel end which will have a bronze bush in it's also got to have an oil well put in the top connected to the hole to keep the bearing lubricated and that fits to the cross head on the loco then on this end then you've got your bar then this will be fastened into the bar and silver soldered as will this but not yet so there'll be one of them on each end with the brass in, in the middle or the bronze and I've got this off cut of bronze here that I'm going to machine up 
t to the relevant sizes, cut it in two to make two sides, and then cut it in two again to make two halves of the actual uh, bearing. And then once I've got all them drilled and bolted together, I can then put it in the lathe and bore the hole that fits on the crank pin or drill it and ream it, whichever. It also needs radiuses put in on each side to match the crank pin. And once that's done, these can be soldered, silver soldered on. And then everything will line up then.
I'm now ready for drilling these to fasten all the pieces, individual pieces together. And what I've done, so that I know that, you know, what's what on each side, I've put a mark on each one. I've put two dots on that side and one dot on that on that one to keep them in the relevant pairs. Yeah. And then once I've got these drilled and they're a matching set, I can then uh, put this in the forger choke and bore the uh, the hole out that goes onto the crank pin. And then this side will just need drilling, a bush putting in, uh, and an oil reservoir. Now I can radius this end off to make it look like that. And then once all that's done and these are turned on the end, I can then silver solder the ends in. Like that.